Hey there, everyone. What's up? Uh, today, <laughs> I uh, got a new shelf for my games, and I broke the normal lamp that I was using for my lighting. And, you know, but I didn't move around the house. I'm not even using my camera. I'm using my iPhone to record this, so I'm not even at my weird angle that I'm normally at. So people who are fans are wondering about my weird camera angle. It's, uh, it's because I'm not in my normal spot. And I'm not using my tripod, so I, I'm not sitting in a weird position, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm actually just sitting on the floor with my I iPad. You can see the doors behind me. Um, but, yeah, this is, video is just a quick video of a game center I went to recently. It's, a, it's not really... Uh, there's not many games in the video, but... It is a game center, and the game center has a theme based on Kowloon, the walled city in China that doesn't exist anymore, but it is based on that, so it's ridiculously dirty looking. It's not actually dirty, it's just a facade, I guess, but the, <laughs> you know, the thing is really cool. It's a really cool theme, so I figured I'd shoot a little bit of video, and I shot them all with my phone, and I, of course, did it the stupid ways so it's like there are all the videos are going to be really thin and tall uh for the most part i think there's only one that's not so sorry that was my mistake i guess but whatever um uh, you you can still see it put it in hd put it full screen you'll see something so yeah that's about it here's the uh little bit of an opening and i'll just narrate along with what you're looking at so let's look at it so here we're just kind of going into the building and this is like you go in the door and it it's like you're immediately hit with this weird air blast and you walk through here and you kind of come to you know you're in this dingy hallway and you walk through and here's the elevator and here's like the entrance to the Kowloon that says like uh I guess it's Kudon Shiro it or Q U Shiro in Japanese. This is this is cool. That's actually water around there. These are like stepping stones and pipes that are coming out of the wall. And you when you walk through there that's the entrance to the parking lot. And you see you'll come through this kind of hallway that's red and lit weird. It's really cool. It was a really cool thing. So from there you walk through the parking lot and here is like there's an escalator. But here is like the actual building what's in here there's like the second floor is a game center the third floor was metal games fourth floor was billiards and darts and the fifth floor is a is a net cafe so it's actually pretty cool it was a really cool thing here is like a little inside this is inside the game center part it looks like this it's really uh pretty neat there uh this section is actually the retro game section so you can uh there's uh some grungy vending machines that are fake grunge that was a gauntlet machine over there that's like totally kowloon-esque because like all the colors except red <laughs> didn't work uh and you can see some other games i'll go through the games a little bit more the retro games but here are some other stuff here's the video it gets a little weird looking because it's thin and small but i will talk about this stuff they had an original uh that's a uh, my Monaco GP. <laughs> I remember playing that in the arcade when I was a kid. Here is an original Street Fighter machine, and it has the big buttons that you have to smash with your hands at various pressures to get this stretch. This is Darius or Darius. As... Here, there's the Street Fighter machine. It took pictures because it's awesome. But it has the two big buttons, and you have to hit them at various strengths to get the attacks to be strong, medium, or hard. Uh, this is a Silent Hill uh, arcade game. I love the Silent Hill arcade game. This one I played, <laughs> and poorly because the controller with the gun I was using was uh broken but uh you can see here's the Silent Hill game I tried tried to take a little video of the, the game but it didn't work on my phone so I just took some pictures of the outside and hopefully you guys can get an idea here's the bathroom that's the the awesome the, the women's bathroom is really nice looking actually but this is uh Tetris <laughs> it's Decatris which is like a those things are those controllers are about the size of like basketballs and you have to control the tetris against another person with a giant basketball this is more interior shots uh that's a hang on i think i can't see it it might be a space harrier but um here's some more of the 
games. Uh, here, these are some of the cocktail games they had in the in the building. It was pretty cool. There were a lot of those. There was like a Mr. Do and stuff. I was really excited for that. I remember playing that when I was a kid. There's Outrun. And there was this. This this isn't real meat. It's all plastic meat. But <laughs> it's like a fake meat stall inside the building, which I thought was cool. And you can run over to the grungy, uh, grungy looking vending machines. And like, they work. They're just like fakely, really dirty looking. It's like really cool how they went through with this so here's another overshot overshot of the arcade part this was like i thought it was really cool because if you look there's laundry <laughs> and uh it's re it's pretty good like they did a pretty good recreation of like what you'd imagine kowloon would look like inside and i guess not really outside this is warzard it's like the cps3 capcom game that is like totally <laughs> nobody's ever played uh, I remember playing it. It's called Red Earth, actually, in the U.S., but it was a pretty good game. But here's the exit, and then there's this, like, weird dummy, that, this new dummy you can look through a window. So there you go. That's the final part of my small tour. I'm sure somebody else will do some more touring of this thing, but yeah. So that was about it. That was the uh, trip to the Kowloon Game Center. There are... It's a normal game center for... For beyond like the aesthetics that I showed, there are a lot of like crane machines and the second floor look, I mean the third floor with the metal games is like almost all metal games. There's no real Kowloon theme to it. So the same for the other floors. The only floor that's really, that I showed was like the retro game floor and then the, uh, there is a, the part where Wars Art is, that game is a, uh, in like a more game center-y looking place. So for the most part, it looks like a game center, but there are a lot of parts that are like really cool Kowloon looking things. And I thought that's really interesting. So I figured I'd show you guys and that's about it. That's all I got to show you. So if you want to see more, come to Japan and check it out yourself. This is in uh, Kawasaki in Japan. It's pretty close to the station. It's not hard to miss because the building is like artificially aged too on the outside. Couldn't take pictures because it was night and they didn't show up. But... Yeah, that's about it. So, more stuff coming. I Probably a Dark Souls Cafe video next, or at the same time as I upload this. I don't know. So, whatever. I will see you guys next time.